Shelby here and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like this video and leave a comment below. I do all things hair, beauty, and lifestyle. Also scrub life, yes. So uh, if, you, if you guys are interested in that type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Of this video, you guys already know that I am going to be relaxing my curly wig that I received from Amazon. So I was a little skeptical about doing this at first, but at the same time, I was kind of like, yeah, you know what, it is what it is. I feel like this wig has ran its course. It did what it needs to do. It gave what it needs to give. My son is hollering, so please excuse that. This is mom life. This is real deal. Holy feel, okay? Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the process that I did, and then we are going to come back, and I'm going to show you guys the results. Okay, ladies, so I decided to use African's Pride Olive Miracle Deep Conditioning Relaxer. It really does not matter which brand that you choose, as long as the strength that you pick is regular instead of super. And make sure that you are reading the um, instructions and the ingredients on the box before you make your purchase. And this is what she looked like, a hot ass mess. I'm not even gonna hold you. I wanted you guys to get the full transformation, including this nape of the neck back here. As we all know, it gets matted and tangled. So we are gonna see if this relaxer can do something about that, okay? Okay, so before you start relaxing your unit, make sure that you are reading your instructions, especially that timing guide. All right, so let's mix these chemicals together. I know some of y'all like, why are you showing us how to mix these chemicals? Because it's a lot of people out here who have never had a perm before or relaxer. And it's people that has, you know, that don't do their own hair. So this is how you mix your relaxer. And you're going to keep mixing it until you get the right consistency, which I'm about to show you in a minute. I had to switch mixing objects because what they gave me was not working. So I just used a comb and that is what you want it to look like. Now, I know I'm not the only one that hate the gloves that come in the relaxer kit. So at this point, I'm definitely about to wing it because I just don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'm just going to place relaxer wherever I see fit. Now, if I was doing this relaxer on a real human head, I would definitely start at least an inch or a half an inch away from the scalp. I did apply some relaxer to the front part of the unit. I took the remainder of the relaxer and I did mix it with some warm water. And I'm just gonna put a lid on it and we're gonna sit it aside for about 10 minutes. So this is what the unit is giving after I relaxed her and I shampooed all of the products out of her hair. Baby, this frontal was giving me crunchy, crunch, crunch because it was so crunchy. I just didn't know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to add some oil to this hair so that I can soften her up some. The back wasn't bad. She was actually easy to comb through. The nape of the neck seemed to have processed pretty good, so I'm proud about that. Even though I didn't put much chemicals on the ends of the hair, 
they still are very strangly and I believe that is because before the chemical process it was a tight curl I do believe that the front and the back has two different hair textures because the front is given crunchy and the back is given soft Ooh, child, baby, I ain't even much ready for this, honey. Okay, y'all, so this is her. After I won Carol her. I didn't do too much, but I just tried to keep it simple. Woo. Her front is pretty much, um, I curled the baby hairs up so that I can be able to create a uh, baby hairstyle or whatever. Y'all, I'm just, I'm just winging it at this point because y'all, it was very much so trial and error trying to process this unit. I said that because I felt like I kind of over processed it in a sort of way because I feel like what I should have done in the beginning was really just take that um, relaxer and just mix it in with that water and then put this into the water and let it sit for at least five to ten minutes but I was doing it like how I would do like our real hair you know I would just put it on there and then just you know let it sit but all in all, it did turn out pretty good, and I am so proud that I did this. It did elongate the curls just a little bit. I feel like the frontal could have been better. Um, when they initially sent this wig, the frontal was pretty much giving me a little, um, like, I don't know. It had a different texture from the hair in the back for some reason. I'm going to say the frontal was a little coarser then the hair in the back and it's i think that's why it's it ended up being more straightened than the rest of the hair but without further ado let's put her on All right, y'all, so this is the final look. This is what I'm going to go with. I try my best to style her to my best capability, but the way these baby hairs are set up, they were so coarse, coarse and crunchy that I had to do what I had to do, y'all. So, and y'all know I'm not big on baby hairs. No way. So, uh, yeah, I did, um, I did take some pictures, so... Make sure y'all head over to my Instagram at it's wonder baby with two eyes. Um, the link will be in the description box below. So make sure y'all check that out. Yeah. So make sure y'all head over, head over there so that y'all can check out the pictures that I did take and also follow me on TikTok at it's wonder baby as well as um, Pinterest and Facebook. Everything is wonder baby. Just look up wonder baby and you'll see me. <laughs> yeah. So, um, this is what I came up with, like, yeah, I did a little something to the front to try to hide what's going on up in here because I'm missing a lot of um, pieces up in, not pieces, but I'm missing some hair up here and where the, can't even talk, I'm missing some hair up here where the closure is because once I put that relaxer in it, it kind of um, took out a lot of the hair from the actual closure. But, um, yeah, y'all, this is it. I'm turning to the side so y'all can see. This is the hair. Like, the back is so soft, but the front, I don't know what was going on with this frontal. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. And I'll show y'all my back. Yep. So, yeah. It's, it's. I feel like I can wear her for another week or so and I will be okay. But um, yeah, this is like definitely one of those styles that you would do at the end of 
your hair cycle where you about to get ready to throw away but you like yeah i need something to hold me until i get something else baby throw a relaxer in it simple throw a relaxer in it and <laughs> like i said i was kind of scared to do this i thought the hair was going to catch on fire i didn't know but um after just waiting for a while and doing some research i kind of just dived straight in and kind of just winged everything um so yeah. i use a box relaxer which is the african best relaxer and i got it in um regular i didn't do super because i felt like that would be a little bit too harsh on the hair so any yeah. questions please feel free to leave them below in the comment section and i will try to answer them accordingly so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button like this video and leave a comment below and also um connect with me on my other social media platforms which is instagram tiktok pinterest facebook you know so um yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, it's your girl Lawanda here. And peace. Ah.